Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Caitlin. If you're new here, subscribe, like, comment, all the things, follow all my social media, all the links are below. You know what to do. You've watched a YouTube video before. So today I'm super excited because I'm obsessed with jewelry, anything jewelry. Today I thought it would be a good idea to do a jewelry collection. <laughs> a lot of jewelry mostly necklaces it's a lot to get through so i'm just gonna go ahead and start first off i want to show you guys my everyday jewelry so we got these both of these silver hoops um you could literally find them anywhere i'm not wearing a necklace right now um let's see here are my first set of rings um this one says forever friends this one i got to play this closet this one my grandma got me these are both from thrift stores, and also my nails look really bad right now. That one is from SandCloud. This one's from Pure Vita. That's from a thrift store. The um, uh, the seashell one is from Alex and Ani, and then the other one is um, from a thrift store. And then, let's see, I got my bracelets. So this one is from... Vintage Vibes Thrift on Instagram. I don't know if they're still a thing, but last time I checked they were. And then I got this one from thrift store, and then this one my brother got me from some place. And then I got like Pure Vita bracelets. These are from thrift store or Plato's Closet, and then this is also from Plato's Closet. So first I have this one. Can you even see that? This one is a turtle. And then with that, I pair it with this Pure Vita anklet. It's like super, I don't even know. It's pretty basic. And then on my other foot, I wear this one. That I got a Plato's Closet. I get most of my jewelry from Plato's Closet just because it's cheap. Um, it's just a seashell one, which you can probably find those anywhere. And then sometimes I like to exchange my rings and I put this one on and this one's from Lucky Brand. But I don't really wear it often because since it's fake gold, it turns my finger green. <laughs> so, yeah. If you didn't know, I make beaded jewelry. And, well, I haven't sold any in a while because no one wants them. But, um, so I have like three necklaces that I made. This one is the first one. Ugh, you can't really see that. But it says, don't stop believing stretched out now but I really love this one this one's like the first one I ever made so it has a special place in my heart this next one just says do good on it pretty cute pretty cute and then this one which is my favorite probably and it says you are loved because you are loved also, my lighting is really weird. I'm sorry. It's like my first ever choker. It's just like this black one with like flowers in the middle of it. And then I have this purple one. Yeah. There we go. I don't really wear that one as much. Oh, I have this white one that I made because my other white one that I got from a company broke. And mine hasn't broken yet, so, yeah. Oh, goodness. Okay, I got this one. This one just has, like, a little star on it. There we go. I think this may either be from Shop Golden Stars on Instagram. I have this one from Emily Dale Jewelry. It's really pretty. This one I've had for pretty Ugh, two or three years I think and it's lasted perfectly and I had a matching inklet to go with that but it broke and then I have this just like this plain cross one that I got from Plato's Closet yeah <laughs> all right next I'm gonna show you guys my seashell chokers I just have two I'm not like an obsessed hoarder or anything like that Sorry, I keep playing with my hair. Um, we got this one. It's just like a normal one. You just tie it, so it's like really easy to get on and off. So, yeah, I got this one from shop.olive1. 
Lynn on Instagram. I'll probably put it on the screen right here, or actually, my brother will put it on the screen right here because he edits my videos. Thank you. Um, so yeah, there, that's that's where that one is from. Um, let's see, and then I have this black and gold one, and it's from Free People. I love how we're getting all close and personal in this video. Um, yeah, it's super, super cute. This one was more expensive. This was like $20. Okay, next I have um, this one. Okay, so it has like the cross and then it has like the fish with the cross in it. And let's see, I had the one with the fish with the cross in it since I was a kid. Um, but then I bought this uh, cross charm and I just put it on there. And it looks really cute. If you want like a statement. That's just so like elegant and cute. I love it. If you've seen my most recent video, then you know that I got this Diva. Whoa. I can't see it. There we go. <laughs> this Diva necklace. And I got it from a thrift store and near me. It was near me. And it was only a dollar. And it's super cute and playful and fun. The next thing I have is this star one. It's very, very dainty and cute. It's from Authentically Aligned, I'm pretty sure. They used to be called Authentic Charms, but I think they're now Authentically Aligned. On Instagram, They, I think they have Etsy too, if you wanna go check it out. Next one, I have this super, super cute, this was one of my first like statement jewelry pieces. Um, it's just like beaded with like a horn, or like a bullhorn and what have you. This one I got, I think it was Emily Dale Jewelry. That could be wrong I'm not sure this I don't think she has any more if it was her because it's pretty old but I love this necklace next thing I have is this blue and silver one super super cute with like a little design right there this is from Lucy Caroline designs on Instagram super sweet and um, this was pretty inexpensive too. I love finding inexpensive jewelry that's high quality. This hasn't broken on me yet, and hopefully it doesn't. Um, yeah, super, super cute. I haven't worn that one as much just because, you know, if it's a color, then I can't wear it with as much. Next, I have this one. It's, let's see, it's gold and brown, question mark, with a gold moon on the end of it super cute this one uh, my friend got me for christmas or for my birthday i think and this is from peachy bell design um it's one of her cousins makes these super cute next i have this gray one gray cross one or gray beaded cross one this is from emily dale jewelry very if you just want like a quick easy staple necklace it's very cute and can go with practically anything. Like, that's just so cute. So, it wouldn't be a jewelry collection without my favorite necklace. Um, it's just a key necklace. Literally, every girl has one, I would think. I don't know. But, this one doesn't have, like, a word on it or anything like it usually does. I literally have this key from my papa's house. And I had, my mom gave me this, like, black chain. And it was like the easiest necklace ever. And it's just like you can literally wear it with anything. And it looks cute. So yeah, I don't know where that, you know, that's how I made it. So yeah. Next I have <clears throat> this gold one that my aunt got me for, for my birthday. Ugh, this is not focusing, I'm sorry. This is from Southern Grace or something. I, know, I tagged like basically all of these on my Instagram highlights, so if you don't remember or you just want to know if I'm actually correct, you can check out my Instagram highlights. Um, let's see. We're almost done. Two more. I have this turtle one. It's just like a simple turtle necklace. I thought it would be really cute. 
for the summertime, and it is. It is perfect for the summertime. Um, and this one I got at Plato's Closet when they had like a bunch of these for only two dollars. I usually like to have more unique jewelry, but just because I don't want to be wearing the same thing as everybody else. I mean, I know that seashell necklace is literally everybody has one, but you know what I mean. Like. Anyway, okay, last thing I got, which I haven't worn this yet, but maybe I will in the future when I'm at the beach, is this one. Here we go. But it's just like a big seashell necklace, and I was thinking about wearing this, but you could like, so it looks like this, but then you can like double cross it, I think. It looks like that. See, I don't know if that's cute or not. Let me know in the comments. But yeah. Okay, I'm just going to keep this on for the rest of the video because that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know any video requests that you guys have because I can always use more of those. Um, yeah, I have quite a few already, but if you have something different that I probably didn't think of, let me know. Um, like this video, subscribe, follow all my socials down below. And I love you guys. Bye!